Hi everyone, I'm Tanaz from Forever Conscious and this is your weekly energy forecast for the week of November 4th. So we have two big events coming up this week. I just want to track back before I get into these events about the journey that we've been traveling on. So at the end of October, we had some very intense energies with the Taurus full moon. This was a heavy full moon and we may still be feeling that sort of heavy sluggish um, effects lingering as we start this week. We also have Venus retrograde. So again, we're really in a deep time of clearing out wounds of the heart and making peace with our relationships and making peace with ourselves and, and really trying to practice self-love and balance that with compassion for others. So we've really been having this um, thick energy that's been playing out. And while we're still going to feel that this week, there is a softening. And that softening comes on the 7th, 8th of November uh, this week, towards the end of this week, with the new moon in the sign of Scorpio. This really is a beautiful new moon. It's very sensitive. It has a very sensitive energy, but it's really going to bring a softening. Um, it, it just has this compassionate, um, empath empathetic, sympathetic tone to it. It's really going to help us to tune into that love, that love that's inside of us and to really remember that at the end of the day that that's who we are and that's all that matters. And often when we are acting or when we're hurt or when we're acting in a way that brings pain, it's really only because we are in pain, right? And if someone hurts you, it's usually because they are in pain. And if we can remember that and, and remind each other of that and see the love and, and try to push past the, the ego and the, and the mask that we all wear, that we all present and see into the heart, um, it's often a lot easier to find forgiveness. And that is sort of the tone to this new moon. It's really about finding forgiveness, finding healing, finding love and compassion, whether that is towards yourself, to a situation or to somebody else, a relationship in your life. So this new moon really brings a lot of heartfelt energy and this heartfelt energy is going to inspire us to forgive, to release, to heal. Um, it really is a beautiful energy. It's sensitive, so we may feel a little extra sensitive or we may feel like, you know, having a cry or, or journaling or spending some time alone. There might be that sensitivity that comes up, but ultimately it is a very um, compassionate, soft, soft um, energy that we'll get to work with. Also, on the 8th, so the end of the week is really nice and busy, we have Jupiter moving into the sign of Sagittarius. This is huge. So uh, Jupiter only comes around into Sagittarius every 12 years. Jupiter moves signs every year or so. So it's moving out of Scorpio into Sagittarius. Now, Jupiter is the largest planet in our solar system, so we feel it. When it moves into a new constellation, we feel it. While Jupiter has been in Scorpio, it's really been wrapping up lessons. It's been wrapping up energy because when it enters into Sagittarius, which is its ruling sign, it returns home. It's reborn. It comes into a new energy, a new cycle, a new sense of self. So this is even more important and pertinent than any other sign. Jupiter moving into its home sign of Sagittarius is big. And you can read about it. I have an article. I'll put it below the video. It's also on foreverconscious.com. So what does this mean? Jupiter in Sagittarius is lovely, abundant, expansive energy. This energy will be with us for the whole year until December of next year. However, we're really going to feel when the shift first happens on the 8th, we're really going to feel that expansion, that opening of our minds, that opening of our hearts, that opening of energy. This is a beautiful placement for Jupiter to be 
Jupiter to be in. It's uplifting, it's inspiring, and we're really going to be feeling and seeing a lot of opportunities coming our way. In fact, this is a wonderful time to um, set intentions, especially with the new moon, perfect time to set intentions, to think about what you want, to start thinking about what next year might look and feel like for you. This is a wonderful time to um, create and set intentions and to manifest and to just open your mind, open your heart to all the possibilities that are around you. So we've had some tension, we, you know, we still have Venus retrograde, but we're moving in to this softer, gentler, more abundant, positive energy. And by the end of next week, hopefully that is what you will be feeling. So I hope that was helpful. I am Tanaz from Forever Conscious. Thank you so, so much.